Hi everyone, wanted to provide you an update for yet another Santa Ana wind in a series of Santa Ana wind events impacting Southern California here in November. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist. It looks like Saturday will be the main impact for event number two. Okay, here's the highlights. Uh, this is number four for the fall 2022, impacting us Saturday and Sunday, strongest on Saturday. The fuel moisture or the vegetation is now about average as we've seen a lot of drying the past couple days um, following the rain around election day. Humidity recovers on Friday, so not as dry. Um, it's been really low um, the past couple days. It'll become low again this weekend, five to 15%. We're looking at a moderately strong Santa Ana wind on Saturday um, and it will linger into Sunday morning um, especially in the Cajon Pass and San Diego Mountains. Several hours of elevated fire weather conditions and those could be critical in some areas as well. So uh, the continued drying over the weekend will um, be a factor as we go into a potential another Santa Ana wind next week right before and during Thanksgiving. Let's take a look at how strong the winds were. We had numerous big rigs that were overturned along the 215 and I-15 corridor. You can see here, uh, winds in that area were 45 to 65 miles per hour, even um, locations right along the foothills over 70 miles per hour. Other windy corridors were in Orange County, um, Riverside County, and even down in San Diego along Interstate eight as shown here. The humidity was really low. Wednesday humidity looked like this, single digits um, all the way to the coast, all the way to the coast. Um, below 10% is, is critically dry. Um, that is something you will notice. Uh, the dew point temperature is a measure of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. Um, it's not dependent on temperature like relative humidity is. So dew point temperature really gives us a solid depiction, uh, a truth in how dry the air is. And we could see it was dry in the mountains, it was dry in the valleys, it was dry in the deserts, because basically what happened is we took desert air and we brought it all the way to the coast. This also results in really cold temperatures. Take a look at the temperatures uh, this morning. Thursday morning, low temperatures, as cold as 12 up near Big Bear Lake, but more temperatures were in the 30s across the interior valleys as shown here. So a little bit of a frosty start in some locations, but if you kept the wind overnight, like the Cajon Pass, some of the wind corridors up by Camp Pendleton, lows were only in the 50s. Okay, what do we expect for the weekend? Saturday, early on Saturday, highest in the morning. Similar to our last event, not quite as strong, but the orange shaded is over 50 miles per hour. So, Saturday morning, travel plans, the I-10, the I-15, the 215 San Bernardino, uh, all the way down to the 91. Uh, also, um, not developing quite as fast or as strong, but down to Interstate 8 in San Diego County. Humidity, like I mentioned before, will be very low. A lot of places will be between 10 and 15 percent, if not a little bit lower. And we'll take that all the way to the coast, um, all the way to the Orange Coast, all the way to northern San Diego County coast, where it looks like northern San Diego County may get more wind than they did on the last event. OK, uh, warming on Saturday and Sunday. So after a little cool down on Friday with more onshore flow, the offshore flow does two things. It cools off our mountains because it's bringing in cold air. Um, from the Great Basin from high to low pressure behind a storm system, but warm, mild conditions on the coast. The mild conditions on the coast stay on Sunday because we're still offshore flow, and then notice the mountains warm up um, about uh, 8 to 10 degrees of warming in the mountain locations. Okay, what's causing this? Um, it's a weaker storm system. It's going by further to our east, um, so the red line and jet stream is a uh, passing to our east, not a straight shot like we saw on Wednesday. Nonetheless, still we get a strong high pressure system over the Great Basin Salt Lake City. Wind blows from high to low. 
it's unable to get through um, the mountains directly so it goes through the passes and over the top and that enhances the wind in what we call Santa Ana winds. That develops uh, Friday night and um, most impactful strongest on Saturday but it will continue through Sunday. What about next week? I mentioned um, a warmer system. So the next system goes by even further east. So we're in more of a dome of warm air above us, um, but we still get that offshore flow, pressure gradient, not as strong, but we still get it. Uh, so we have offshore flow and a much warmer air mass. So that's gonna be uh, warm, much above average conditions for Thanksgiving. Okay, uh, and I mentioned it uh, next week, Thanksgiving week, much above average temperatures, not just for SoCal, but for all of California due to that offshore flow and that building upper level high pressure or lack of storms. Storm track shifted way to the east and north. There is a fire weather watch out um, and associated wind advisories for Saturday. Um, make sure you check weather.gov for the latest alerts. Um, these are updated whenever needed, and it could be a couple times a day, weather.gov. Summary, uh, fourth Santa Ana wind event this fall, we'll call it moderately strong. Uh, so the wind corridors, the mountain passes, uh, high profile vehicles uh, will be susceptible, especially Saturday morning to those high winds. The fire dangers increase, so that's one of the differences. Um, in this event is the fire danger is greater now due to the recent drying. Another Santa Ana wind event and much warmer event for next week right at Thanksgiving. Are we going to see any rain? Um, well the latest outlook continues to indicate early December. So the first week of December looks like a storm track change in the weather pattern certainly for the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and it looks like some of that may dip into Southern California. So with potential for three Santa Ana wind events and a lot of drying, um, some rain is possible for early December when we change the calendar. All right, um, make sure you follow conditions at weather.gov and you can also follow uh, the current weather, wind speeds and temperatures on the links shown here. Stay safe, everyone.